Okay, hey guys, this is uh, Sean. Um, what I'm doing right now is I just cannibalized this uh, the electronics out of a uh, lightsaber that I built in Tomorrowland in 2017 in Disneyland, California. Uh, there's a, the wiring harness, the board right here. Um, I can't really get a very good uh, focus on it. Anyways, the board's a pretty good board. It came with a speaker, and it has clash-on-clash -clash ability. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool. So, um, so I was comparing it to my Hasbro uh, Black Series uh, Graflex uh, Saber, uh, Vader Saber. So, let me see the sound here. So there's a speaker right there and all that um, pretty loud all right okay there we go so I've got the uh, LED compartment uh, uh, on on the uh, ultra saber this is a ultra saber battle version 3 metal saber um, that I got in a mystery box um, that and I bought a grab bag too that I got a, a pretty good Aeon 4 lightsaber that I'm giving away on my uh, Star Wars fandom group on Facebook I'm going to be doing a drawing on May the 4th for anybody who signed up in the uh, in the group so like I said here's part of the uh, uh, part of the assembly from the uh, other saber, the old saber. I'm gonna probably have to drill a hole in here, and I have a. There's a red piece right there, and that's a spring that I'm gonna be stretching out, um, so I can actually put uh, a switch, so it can actually touch uh, right here. Uh, that's the uh, on switch for it, so. It'll be pretty simple. You just gotta press them pretty much at the same time. So uh, here, I'm gonna show you how it sounds compared to the uh, Hasbro toy. That's the speaker. That's me putting it up to the body of the V3 uh, Battle Saber. show you that it has the clash on clash it's a pretty neat little board here um, you know you can spend up to like I don't know I think it's anywhere from like 40 bucks up to a hundred bucks um, on a good board and just like to get this thing and just you know, install it on the sled that'll go inside here. The battery compartment's up here. I got to take it out and then I'm going to have to solder the connections from the battery compartments to the battery um, here in the Ultra Saber. But I can just... Yep, yeah, there we go. One-handed. Awesome. Um, here we have the... Uh, the Ultra Saber battery compartment. Yeah, you can go to sleep. Yeah. So I can solder the the connections uh, together here, and I should have a pretty good hacked Ultra Saber. Um, this piece is the piece, and actually fits right inside the end there. Uh, I will put some like tape around it and just use tension to hold it. Um, the, the board as well so that way uh, they fit snugly inside there and they don't rattle around which I've heard is a problem with ultra sabers but hey you know what this is a really cool saber I really like it um, it should be easy to do uh, spin tricks with <clears throat> smooth and it's pretty cool so that's what I'm up to have a good day